Hello, everyone. My name is Jennifer Mulski. This is my YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm not great at going freestyle, but I want to speak to you as if you're my daughter, which will be difficult <laughs> if you're a man. But honestly, I would like to speak to women out there. Any woman who has had sex with more men than they want to have had sex with, or any young women who are thinking about having sex. I want to talk about promiscuity because it seems to me that the world you're growing up in or the world that we are living in is trying to convince you that it's very normal and healthy and good and grown up to bang anyone you want. And I thought maybe, maybe I could be the one person that you, that you listen to that tells you maybe that's, that's wrong. So I have a few ideas, young daughter. <laughs> Isn't that weird? As to why, as to why you and your friends are promiscuous. Okay. The first one is you're excited. I understand that when I understand that being a grown up is really exciting. The potential for what you can be as a grown up is really exciting. And it's pretty sad too, because if you don't make the right decisions, you'll end up a loser. And a lot of people that listen to this channel don't like when I say that. But no winner gets upset about me telling you that it's possible that you could end up a loser. Losers get mad that I mention. Losers, okay? How does one become a loser? It is making so many bad decisions. This is how you can spot a loser. Usually they'll say about a situation, it's confusing. It's complicated. Oh, it's just really complicated. It's complicated. Well, what happened with that divorce? Oh, it's complicated. Why did you guys break up? It's complicated. How do you feel about this person? It's complicated. Complicated means, this is just my channel so I can say whatever the fuck I want about meanings. So many bad decisions stacked on top of themselves that you can't find the nugget of where it began. There are so many offshoots of bad decisions until one day it's so confusing that you're a loser, okay? Women become a loser in a couple different ways, but it really, really helps to have sex with many men. That's a really easy way to become a loser. Okay. Why? The more, uh, oddly enough, the more, the more women men have, oh my God, the more women men have sex with, typically that helps their self-esteem, but it's the opposite for women. The more men women have sex with, the lower their self-esteem. Self-esteem is attached to a lot of things. Skin, the health of your skin, the luster of your hair, wrinkles, stress, gray hair, fat, fatness. If you have low self-esteem, you'll tend to eat your problems. Alcoholism, if you tend to be stressed out and have low self-esteem, you'll typically drink more. Are these absolutes? No. Does it help? Does it contribute to loserness for women? It does. But it can seem exciting that you get to, okay, here's another thing to consider. When you have a lot of money, you typically spend it, right? But it takes a long time to, if, you, if you're smart about it, it takes a long time to save up a lot of money. What I, what I find a lot of young women, a lot of women have done is the attention that they get from men is, is oh God, it's, it's a fiat currency, okay? And they get filled up with it and then they tend to make the bad decision of spending it right away. But what can you get with a hundred bucks versus a million bucks? There is a disparity. So if you spend your beauty, your sexuality, the attention that you get, the attention that you earn by taking care of yourself and making good decisions, if you spend that, you'll probably only be able to spend it on a loser or someone who isn't betting on you being a winner. Because if a man thinks that you're a winner and he tries to have sex with you and you let him have sex with you, you're no longer a winner. He's a winner because he got to have sex with you. But a woman that waits, her the currency increases, okay? So it might it might seem like, oh my God, I'm so pretty and men are looking at me and I can have I can have any man I want and you'll spend that currency, but stop, oh my God, stop, please, please at least consider, at least consider gaining everything that you can 
So you have a million dollars in the bank, which is your beauty, your intelligence, your charm, your wit, your nurturing, your cleanliness, your good decisions. And then you can spend it on a man who will see you as a winner because you don't spend it on him right away. Okay. I would say wait until you're married. Okay. 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 You don't, you don't have to, you don't have to, but at least months, at least months. If you were hired at a, at a, at a good job, not a Joe Schmo. Now remember there's low standards for, for shitty jobs. So I'm not talking about a low standard job. If you were hired at a a reputable business, you are typically on a, oh God, what's it called? A 90 day, oh, what is it called? Where you have to wait, and, probation, a 90 day probation to prove to the employer that you're not a bag of shit. And then you get your benefits and then you get the job for sure. You're no longer being watched with eagle eyes. You're accepted. So I would want you to do the same thing when looking for a partner, a man, a real man, a real man. You should both be on probation for at least 90 days. If, if you find a man who doesn't want to wait 90 days, then, then that's it. He signed off. The probation is over. He's not, he's not uh, someone that you should, he's not someone that you should have hired as your only employee. You're only employee. You only get one employee. Okay. The other thing is, is daddy issues. I can't be your dad, but let me be your mom. Let me be your internet mom. Okay. I know that your dad was a fart and he wasn't around and that sucks, but it's not because of you. Okay. And I don't want you because of his decision to spend your life and your decisions on being Hmm. How do I say this? I don't want you to spend your life making bad decisions. So you are unlovable. And I don't want you settling for anyone to give you the love and attention that you wanted from daddy. Okay. This is, this video is not going to help. Is it? I just don't want you to have sex tonight with him. Don't have sex tonight with him. <laughs> if you are promiscuous. So it's, if, if you have sex with multiple people before you get married, your divorce rate goes up. If you have sex with more than 10 men, the divorce potential for you is higher than, than if it was nine men or eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one's the winner. One, 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 one. But it goes to what you value. If you don't value marriage, a long marriage, a forever marriage, then this, then this, what I'm saying doesn't matter, right? If you don't value your, your body yourself, then what I'm saying doesn't matter but you get to decide what is important and valuable to you. And if you, if you really are important and valuable, you won't let people handle you unless they deserve it. There's two ways I want you to think about this. If I give you a piece of jewelry, it's stunning, right? And it has multiple diamonds in it. And the total value of this beautiful piece is like a million dollars right? And I say, you can do whatever you want with it. You can, you can trade it in when you finally want to buy a business or buy a house or buy land or buy property or pass it on, whatever you want. It is yours. Would you allow? No. Who would you allow to handle that jewelry? Would it, is it enough if they were clean, if they had just washed their hands? Would it be enough if they were good looking? Would it be enough if you were introduced to them from your friend? Would it be enough if they were college educated? Would it be enough if they believed in God? What would be the criteria for allowing that person to hold your jewelry that I gave you? And would it matter if they removed a diamond from it before giving it back? Because the way I kind of look at, at sex and, and promiscuity is every person that you give your body to, they're taking a gem from that bracelet. And then finally, when it's time to buy that business or be with that man or buy that property, you're left with, with a, a piece of jewelry that is devoid of all jewel, of all sparkle, 
now it's just weighted down and there's chunks missing from it. And you can you can spend time trying to recuperate that, but it's never going to be the same. It's never going to be the same. The other thing is, what if I told you that the last guy that you had sex with had a brunette sex doll and he really liked to, to f*** it and he did it a lot. Okay. And then he also had a blonde sex doll and he liked to have sex with that a lot too. But then he decided he had a hankering for a redhead, but he didn't really have the money to buy a redhead. So he asked his friend, Hey, do you have a redhead sex doll that I could borrow? And his friend says, absolutely. So his friend and him share the red sex doll. Is that okay? Does that seem like something that's neat, acceptable? Would you like that? The thing is, is if you're a redhead and you're a slut, you are the sex doll. You are the sex doll. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm just trying to get you to think about this in a different way. What do you think? What do you think? I Listen, I get it. I get it. You think that it's it's a, a sexy, wonderful thing and to be wanted and, and desired and have sex with different men. But it's really pretty gross in, in a way. So find your one man. Set your standards really high. And I actually did a video about how women's standards are too high. But we're, we're looking at standards in a totally different way. You want to find someone who has the same values as you. Someone who is willing to wait to have sex with you. Someone who is going to want to grow with you. And someone who's high maintenance. Jennifer, high maintenance? You idiot. Yeah, well, I did a whole video about high maintenance and you're going to have to maintain the relationship no matter what you do. What kind of person and relationship do you want to maintain? Do you want to maintain? Okay? Okay. Because if you if you are a man and you are with a woman who has been promiscuous, you have to maintain that, which is excitement. Excitement. Multiple partners. And if you're a woman who is used to having sex with multiple people, is that enough applause? It, will one applause, will one set of applause from one awesome man ever be enough or do you constantly want a new clap every night? Okay, that's it, everyone. See you later. Have a good one. Bye.